Hi, this is Lavinia Lee from Vincent Music. Today we'll talk about a new piece from AMEB Grade 1. So before we did Toria the song, and I want you to try practice it until the last line. So practice the whole piece. Okay? Practice hands together, only notes first. We don't need to you don't need to worry much about details. So we only need to know the notes first. And then I want it to be smooth. So like next week we can work on the details and so we we'll work on like the um, loud and soft so we have like forte which one is the loudest which one is more uh, like which one needs to go softer and then we'll talk about phrasing too phrasing like where is the first sentence where is the second sentence and then where is the melody and then we will talk about the connection between each notes for next week and also um, on the rhythm for the Toria the song, try to learn the um, long and short rhythm, which is like the I think dotted quaver and semi quavers. So it's like one, two, one, two, one. Okay. Now, next piece starts from page twenty two. It's called Placid de Amor. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it comes from John Paul Gilles Martini. And then, if you look at the um, time, so he was born, uh, he started with 1741, so which is 18th century. So this piece is a classical piece. It's a little bit romantic because it has gone th toward like 1816, which is 19th century. So, today I want to talk about the difference, also talk about the difference between classic and romantic. So classical pieces is more like simple. Uh, the how to say it's more like stable. The beat is more stable. There is no rubato. There is no long short uh, rhythm. So the beat is more stable, and then the chord and the cadence is more simple. And so it's just like chord of one, chord of four, chord of five seven, and then chord back to chord of one. And then romantic period, however. It's more like um, it's more a little modern already. So it's like improvisation from choral, from rock classical, but the chords are like more, how to say, um, more advanced, and also the phrasing is more irregular. So there is no like constant phrasing, which is like one phrase is like four bar long. Next one needs to be two or four bar long or eight bar long. But like romantic, you can uh, improvise a little bit. So, I'm going to play some pieces which is from classical and which is from romantic. So, classical piece is more towards like this. And then the so, it's like more towards the rhythm. Or, you have one Mozart piece that I'm still learning. Romantic pieces. Romantic pieces we have minor stick to minor it changed a lot so that's the difference between um, romantic and also classical okay so this piece Placer de Amor so we have the very first look at the key signature it is F sharp so it is in G major so why do we know G major look at the very first note of the left hand which is the accompaniment so it start with G Okay, so one, three, five, first note, G major. And then, now here, we'll learn how to use pedal, but I'll just teach you through practical lesson because it's hard to know uh, how to change pedal. So, 
This one, look at the phrasing from the right hand. So there, in two lines, you have two phrases. First phrase is the first line. Second line, uh, second phrase start from the very last note from first line, go to the uh, last bar of second line. So, what's how to differentiate between phrases? You can put up a little bit. you have very long you have from bar 9 all the way until bar 16 so that is the third phrase okay so it's long so you need to keep it don't put up your fingers and then remember right hand is always louder than left hand because it's the melody Retardando, which means slow down. Okay, so you can slow down. Up, oh, go to the next. And then do the dynamics. Which is returnito, so this slow down a little bit. Is this the end of the song? No. So you can see da capo al fine. It means go back to the beginning, go all the way down to fine. Fine means the end. So go back from the beginning. number one because you have the same fingering five go here Sorry. we have the very last note so one five and then one put up five hold go to four it's easier that way okay so you have to pay attention to the fingering for this piece okay so if you have any question write it down and for this one i i don't want you to do much at home just look at the notes first and then try to play like two lines hands together next week okay bye thank you